Hey, welcome to the Keto Mom page. Welcome to your two o'clock tasting and your keto tip. All right, we're going to dive into the conversation of, well, I often get asked this question, groceries cost so much money when I'm doing keto. How do I keep the grocery costs low? Or in general, I always say it boils down to most of the time people are making more than one meal, right, for their family. And so it can, it can feel like it costs more. So we're going to dive into how do we keep costs lower and maybe, maybe give you a little bit more perspective on eating low-carb or keto, but making it work for everybody in your home. So first of all, as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? What did you have for lunch? Uh, what did we have today? My kids had leftover roast from the crock pot yesterday from dinner. So leftovers, we often have leftovers for lunch or it's something super simple like a low-carb wrap or a lettuce wrap or something like that. Um, I want to know what you had for lunch because it gives other people ideas as they hop on and they can scroll through and maybe they've gotten bored of their meals. Uh, I have a whole different topic on boredom and food, but I will not talk about that at the moment. So what'd you have for lunch? Plus it gives me ideas. So, And I'd love to know, um, how is your day going? I talked earlier this morning on my morning live that we go over a book. We we're talking about mindset. We're talking about visions and dreams and creating a vision board. And today we really talked about the power of our words. If you did not see that live, go back and watch it. I did it this morning at seven o'clock and I encourage everybody to share one thing they're thankful for. And so what are you thankful for? I'd love to know. Share below. Okay. I'm shaking up my mom fuel. I drink this every single day. I love it. I'm not shaking, I'm stirring, clearly. But normally, you can shake it. Uh, for those who have been asking uh, over this last week, you can put as much or as little water as you want. I use about, I don't know, probably 16 ounces. My husband uses 24 ounces. You shake it up, you drink it under an hour. I probably drink it in like 20 minutes. But under an hour is best to get the maximum of ketones in your system so they can do all of the things, right? Energy, focus, appetite control helps with fat loss, cravings. Uh, mindset is huge. It helps with people even in sleep. Like the ketones are incredible. It is a tool, not a magic pill, and it tastes great. Today's flavor, ah, so good. So good. Hibiscus lemonade. It's one of my favorites, although I think I say that about everyone. If you already drink ketones and you're one of my customers, what's your favorite flavor? Oh, they're so good. All right, we're gonna dive into this conversation real quick. I wanna, what? Oh yeah. If you want to know more about my mom fuel, post five in the comments. Good thing my husband is always on the other side. Post five in the comments. If you're on TikTok, go to, well, what is the trial one? Mom fuel trials momfueltrials.com. You can get a trial pack. So mom fuel, because I'm a mom, although my husband drinks them, he calls them dad fuel. It's not just for moms. You can be a mom or a dog mom or a wannabe a mom or a dad or a boss or an athlete. Doesn't really matter. Ketones are incredible. Go to momfueltrials.com or if you're on Facebook, post five in the comments. All right. The conversation around saving money while I eat low carb or keto, and what do we do if we are cooking for a family? So I'm going to need your help, right? I'm gonna need some collaboration on this one because I'd love to know how you save money eating low carb or keto. Now, I'm gonna be the very first one to tell you this. We don't cook two meals in our home, we never have. When we were first starting eating this way, and for years, we made one meal, which means our kids had to eat the broccoli and cauliflower. The girls tried the asparagus. We all tried the avocado together, because if you know my story, six years ago, I had never eaten anything green in my life. Nothing, zero, zip, no vegetables, no lettuce. I didn't know, even know how to cut open an avocado. Now, one meal. And what I want to encourage you is this. If you were the only one in your family doing this, just make a better option every single meal you can low carb or keto fi. If you've got tacos, use a low carb wrap, right? If you want to do lasagna, you can do just make some extra sauce, put it on the side. You can put your sauce and meat, meat and sauce over 
um, some broccoli and cauliflower and have it that way or make your own zucchini noodles. Right now, actually, there's a ton of different low-carb noodles that you can get and everybody will like them. Um, we grill a lot of burgers and hot dogs, just don't use the bun, right? Add some veggies. So I would really challenge you to think there really isn't too many meals that you cannot make a low-carb option or you have a side salad and your family can have the potatoes or whatever you're going to do, right? If you're like, my kids won't eat this way or my spouse wants this, well, just make an extra side, which yesterday we talked about not eating as many sides, but you know what I mean. Like whatever the meal is, how can you make it a better version for you? Like often I'll make some meat. My husband doesn't love red sauce. So he says it gives him heartburn. So if, if I'm making a whole bunch of hamburger, I'll hope when I remember... I will set off some hamburger on the side so it doesn't have red sauce with it, right? Things like that. What can I do to make it so it's a better option for you? That's number one. Number two, how do we save money eating this way? We use Costco. I know it seems like a lot of money up front, but things are cheaper if you buy them in bulk, right? So that's an option. Um, A second option is buy from a local farmer. So we just got connected to a lady that has eggs. So we'll be buying farm fresh eggs that are better for us in general and cheaper than the grocery store. Uh, Also, we are buying a whole bunch of cow meat to put in our freezer for the winter from a farmer who's butchering a cow. So, and that I think is even cheaper. Well, I know it's grass fed, it's it's an incredible cow. So really, if you look at it from what we're buying, I think it's the same as the store, right? Gotta love the 52% price increase. Yes, my husband's looking at grocery store increases on groceries. So this is what I want your collaboration on. I want to know what are you doing? What have you done in the past to save money? If you intermittent fast, you don't eat breakfast. If you are following the rule of you don't eat if you're not hungry, guess what? You shouldn't eat a ton of snacks. So you, for you only, if you're doing low carb or keto, you've got to think about like this. You might find yourself buying more vegetables and things like avocados and more things like that, but you shouldn't be snacking all day. You don't need six meals a day. If you're not having breakfast, then that's one meal that you're not eating, right? Uh, If you're drinking more water and not buying soda or things in the vending machines, you're saving money. If you're not going through the gas or the groceries, or I'm sorry, if you're not going through the fast food restaurants or you're not buying the extra donut, like all of these little things save money, right? So it's just a shift. So we buy in bulk, uh, we buy from local farmers, Uh, When the farmer's market is around, which I think it's almost done here. uh, Actually, there's still probably a month left. Farmer's markets are great. We have that that in town every Saturday. You can go buy fresh uh, vegetables and different things downtown where we live. What do you do to save money or to help on groceries? I want you to share below so that other people can look and learn uh, and gather, gather some wisdom and knowledge from not just me, but you. So does this make sense? Don't feel like you've got to cook two meals. That's too, it's really too much. And then you're spending on an extra meal. Uh, Get resourceful. Who has uh, a farm around you? And plus that meat and those vegetables are a lot better. You could grow your own next year. If you're like, I should really have my own garden. Maybe start planning now and having some ideas and learn on Pinterest and all of the garden things. So next year you can grow your own garden, right? We tried that in the past. We weren't great gardeners, but I definitely think that we could do it if we learn. Don't you think, babe? Mm-hmm. We could totally do a garden because I think we have a better mindset than when we did it a couple of years ago. So with all of that, um, yes, some of you have asked what flavor am I drinking? I'm drinking the hibiscus lemonade uh, of my mom fuel, and I don't take a nap ever. I don't need a nap ever, except for sometimes when my kids are reading to me, but I think it's just because they're reading to me. We have four daughters. We homeschool by choice. And like when you have a second grader and a fourth grader reading, sometimes you're like, not because I'm tired. I just am listening to them read over and over again. (laughs) It's great. I love the suggestion. So, and remember, it's little things that you're taking out that is also going to save you money. The extra disgusting energy drinks, the extra snacks, uh, going through Starbucks coffee every single day, replace that with ketones for sure, drink more water, stop snacking if you're not hungry, be aware of the food that you're eating and not just the time frames, and have your kids try the food that you're making. 
You guys, you want to know something so funny? Our kids actually eat better than I do. And they were excited when we brought out vegetables years and years ago. And they liked them faster than I did. I was the one that was like, I'd rather have the mac and cheese. So I've learned my palate has grown immensely in six years. Uh, and it's a process. So we're talking about saving money. Share below. I'd love to see uh, what you and your family do. Otherwise, post five in the comments for more information on my mom fuel. And if you're on TikTok, because we're doing Facebook and TikTok at the same time, uh, go to ketomomtrials.com and you can check out my mom fuel for sure. Or send me a message on Facebook. Just go to Keto Mom on Facebook or just reach out with any questions you have. I'm here to help every single day, send me a message of your goals, what you're working towards. I'll give you a foods list, whatever it is. Let me know. I'm here to help. I had to do my two o'clock a little early because we have a super crazy afternoon because we have four daughters and they're all in different sports and it's so much fun. I actually really do enjoy it. I just get to be a taxi for a little bit. So I hope you guys have an incredible day. Reach out and share below your tips and tricks on saving money. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.